What's up everybody, Steve here. I'm super excited to basically give you a heads up on a couple of future videos. I think you guys are gonna really dig them if you guys are into, um, interested in learning more about vacation rental investment properties. Uh, let's go ahead and take a walk. Get you out on the beach over here. So essentially, I lined up in a few weeks uh, it's kind of like a vacation, but at the same time, we're going to stay out in uh, a, an island in the state of Florida, only accessible by boat. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that toward the end of the video. But what I want you guys to do is, look, I don't care if you like this video or anything else, but definitely hit the bell notification so you guys are notified for when this video launches because uh, it's going to be a handful of videos and it's going to be really cool. I'm going to bring you through. Uh, the island, the finances, everything associated with um, the, the vacation rental properties out there and really what they have to offer. But we'll talk more in detail about those um, in, in a little bit. So anyway, I just pulled up the National Association of Realtors, an article they just released, and it talks about um, vacation home sales rose 16.4% in 2020. Now 16.4%, think about it, that's a huge increase of people seeking out vacation rental investment properties. And guess what? The number one county coming in first place is Lee County. That's actually where I am, where I live, where I do a lot of investing as well. The article goes on to say, Lee County tops NAR, National Association of Realtors list of US counties for the highest increase in vacation home sales with Collier County, which is just south of us. So let's wrap off the top 10 US metros with the largest uptick in 2020 vacation home sales. Number one, as mentioned, Lee County. If you guys don't know where Lee County is, it is Southwest Florida on the Gulf Coast. This is basically Lee County, Bonita Beach right here. <clears throat> Number two, Oscoto County in Michigan. I apologize if I'm butchering some of these names because some of them I've never heard of. Uh, number three is Swain County in North Carolina. Number four is Collier County. And it, as mentioned, Collier County is south of us, uh, basically Naples, Naples, Florida, still on the, the west coast of Florida as well. Number five is Dukes County in Massachusetts. Number six is Alleg Alexandria County in North Carolina. Number seven is Garrett County in Maryland. Number eight is Barnstable County in Massachusetts. Number nine is Alcona County in Michigan. And number 10 is Macon County in North Carolina. Now this article goes on to say, vacation homes are a hot commodity at the moment, says Lawrence Young, National Association of Realtors Chief, Chief Economist. With many businesses and employers still extending an option to work remotely to workers, vacation housing and second homes will remain a popular choice among buyers. And absolutely, I can attest to this being a licensed Florida real estate broker and dealing with a lot more people buying vacation rental properties. I'm, you know, always getting into fantastic conversations with with a lot of our clients and uh, a lot of these people, yeah, they work remotely and they have the ability to, um, you know, work from Florida and 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 obviously go back to their home state, work from their home state as well. So a lot of these people just want a break from the day in and day out of their their home state, their home city, their home county. And they'll buy these properties, they'll block out a month, two months, five months, whatever it is, and then rent it out when it's not being used by them personally. Also, this article goes on to say, the enduring opportunity for remote work will continue to raise the already high demand for property in these counties, particularly in those counties with reliable broadband internet service. Which, talking about that private island, I definitely did my research in terms of internet capability and everything else, and this private island actually has hardwire electricity going to it, so I'm super stoked about that. It also goes on to say, in the midst of an ongoing supply shortage, an increase in the number of buyers willing to pay for homes in all cash 
especially for vacation homes. From January through the end of April 2021, all cash sales increased to 53% of all vacation home purchases. And yes, that is true. We're getting a lot more people that you know they're coming out to southwest florida and they're seeing the prices out there and relative to a lot of states up north the prices are, are relatively cheap so let's talk about our upcoming trip i'm going to throw some hints out there it is a it is an island in the state of florida it is nearby it is in lee county as well it is hardwired for electricity so all the homes run on regular electricity they have good internet out there uh, the island consists of only 400 homes. There's a handful of restaurants. There's like a general store on there. It's only accessible by boat um, Or there is a ferry as well that can bring you out there, which is pretty cool And there is a small landing strip. It's a private uh, landing strip for you know, just small like little Cessnas or whatever the case is um, we're gonna go and we're gonna actually I rented for I think four nights one house that's actually for sale so I did another video on try before you buy and this is kind of similar as well so I already got all the financials from the listing agent and we're gonna experience the actual property that could be a potential purchase for us um, we anticipate based on new analysis and pro forma that this thing could gross anywhere from seventy-five to ninety-five thousand dollars in any given year. And also, when we're out there, we're going to check out a handful of other properties that are for sale, and we're going to explore the entire island and just just have a good time. Now, I'm finding that, especially with this day and age, with COVID and all this other stuff going on and defunding the police and all this uncertainty in the market, a lot of people are really looking to get out and go to a private island where you're not gonna have a lot of crime necessarily or riffraff or it's just harder to get to if you're trying to cause havoc. And I can tell you, just looking at the bookings, we really got lucky to book this property. And in our, in our off season, which is the summer months here in Southwest Florida, this island is almost completely booked for the next several months. I, I'm astonished in terms of how much or how many people are coming out here in the off season. And uh, so we're really intrigued by it. So again, I don't care if you like this video or not. One thing I want you to do, hit that bell notification because when these videos come out, I want you guys to check them out and, and get your feedback as well. Um, because I think it's just gonna be a cool experience and and hopefully you guys can learn something as well So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot